you must have seen scenes from movies like Pixar and Disney. Okay, now what if I say you can make them? No, I'm not lying. You can really make them without of so much hard work and hardware. Little Sam is wandering through the jungle. Suddenly, he hears a loud roar. A tiger leaps out of the bushes and starts chasing him. Just when the tiger is about to pounce, Sam's best friend Mia zooms in with her bright red toy-like car. The car screeches to a halt between Sam and the tiger. Mia shouts, Hop in, Sam! Sam dives into the car just in time. Mia presses a button and the car transforms into a flying vehicle. The friends land on a safe hill overlooking the jungle. Okay, let's learn today. How can we make 3D stories with some really good animation without Blender and Maya 3D such softwares? Welcome to Skill Curve and I'm Aditya. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? The answer is very predictable with the help of AI and generative AI tools. We can make 3D, 2D and anime style animation too. All you need to do is, is have a creative brain or if you don't have that too, I'll help you that. Very altruistic of me. Whether it's your favorite cartoon or movie dream that you always wanted to make or maybe a game or its trailer that you always wanted to make, we'll use crazy AI tools to help you to do all of this in a much faster way. To make the stories of high quality, you have to write a story and characters' details. I mean the most important thing, how they look like, what's their appearance, what's their location, what's the entire show, how the entire story is gonna take place. You have to define the theme of your story, the appearance of the example. If you are making a character, try to be precise about their looks and feels. Now before you ask me, why does that even matter? So let me tell you, it does matter because this brings consistency in your artwork and the video that will look much professional in the video. Otherwise, images would look different in each generation and each frame and trust me, it looks really bad. Now if you are not a creative person, we will ask ChatGPT to make a story. I would highly encourage you to have at least a unique theme for the story. This way your videos will stand out and ChatGPT will make easily better stories. Otherwise, you'll get the same boring stories your granny told you. As you can see, I gave prompt to the ChatGPT and now it started making a story, the generating the entire story with the proper scenes and images. You can also use uh, tools like Claude too. Claude is also one of the best tools to generate these kind of scripts. However, you have to remember that the Claude is not as free as ChatGPT is. Now we have prompts to generate images. There are tons of AI tools to do that like Midjourney, Leonardo AI, Dell E and more. We'll use Leonardo AI for this. We'll go to its website to make good images. If you don't have any account there, please make one login with your Google account. Once you're logged in, you should go to the image creation section. Now one by one, you have to piece the prompt chat GPT gave you. Now make sure you have the best preset model like Phoenix set. You can apply other settings too like prompt enhancement should be off, style should be dynamic and generation speed should be fast. If you want to make it for YouTube then remember to choose appropriate ratio which should be 16 ratio 9. Now you can click on generate button to see the magic. If you are liking the images just download it. Now repeat the same step by copying the prompt from the chat GPT and maybe from Claude if you are using Claude and pasting it on the Leonardo AI. If somewhat you do not like the generated images, just simply regenerate it till you get the right one. One of the most important thing is to copy seed number and in advanced seed option paste the seed number by enabling it. This will ensure that consistency remains same in your all artwork. Leonardo AI is cheap. If you want more creation, you can just buy their subscription. Now to make this image into video, this is the most fun part of a video cause hey, nobody wants to see a static image with some slight show in this low attention span era. For now, we'll have several tools like there's free tools you can start with Runaway ML or Kling AI. Here is the Kling AI, you can sign it to get the free credits. This will help you to transform the images into video. Now same goes for Runaway ML. Here you need to upload the image and get the video output so you can make the favorite stories in the best animation way. Now before downloading those videos from the AI tools, remember the one thing they have watermark. But don't worry, we'll fix that later. 
Now the most important thing of any story or animation is audio. Here you can use your voice if you have a good microphone. I would always advise you to use your own voice that will make it much better. If you don't have such tools, you can always go to 11 Labs AI. Here you can simply log in and I always prefer to log in with Google and after that you have to go to the chat GPT and copy the voice over parts and paste into your speech section of 11 Labs. Now you'll have to choose many voice. Remember to choose one of the best that suits your video. It could be a female, it could be a male. You can choose Use also your accents that will help you to make your story much realistic. Now after clicking on a generate button you can download the voice. Now for sound effect if it's necessary and for background score you can go to YouTube's audio library you can see the link on your screen. Now this will make your story much entertaining and better. Editing is very important part of any video. Well, all the work is already done by AI, all you need to do is combine it with the help of video editing software. You can go to your favorite video editing software. It could be anything. It could be CapCut, Final Cut and Adobe. But now, for example, I'm using CapCut. This is one of the easiest way to learn video editing. Uh, if you don't have a, a downloaded CapCut, you can download it simply. If you're facing any issue with downloading, you can just use VPN to download it in your own country and then you can use it. Now add all the clips of your story and connect them, then add the voiceover that we downloaded and sound effects that we downloaded from the YouTube library. Now make sure you always place all of these audios and effects in the right place of the video so it sync well with the video. Since we generated all the entire videos with the help of free generative AI tools like Kling AI and the Runaway ML, these all videos have watermark in the bottom. How can you remove this? Just simply add some overlay in the cap cut or your favorite video editor or you can just zoom out video a little bit to hide this watermark after hiding this watermark your video will look definitely professional as you bought subscription for them if you don't want to do this you can simply just buy the subscription of these tools this will automatically remove the watermark whenever you generate a new video after previewing it you can make sure it's good now you can do anything with your in story video animation story video you can share them you can upload them on youtube and you can upload them to their other social media platform so let's see as a recap first we have to go to a chat gpt to make the scripting of the entire video after scripting the entire video, we'll have to go to the images creation like Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI will help you to create images from the prompts given. Make sure to add scene number to remain your characters consistently. Now after that, you can go to Kling AI. These tools will help you to generate images and to videos. And after generating videos of your uh, images and cartoons, you can go to Always 11 Labs to add voiceover and narrations. After narrations, you can go to the CapCut and such softwares to combine all of them and present them in a much visual manner way.